I'm gonna try, uh, try and behave myself with my language up here. Um, uh, no? Oh, I, I was really hoping you were gonna say that because I'm not really capable of behaving myself with my language up here. But there's quite a lot of tiddlers in today. Um, and it's, uh, I love it when there's, when there's kids in the audience because that's, that's my pension plans, you know what I mean? <laughs> They'll be here long after you guys. But, um, yeah, so unfortunately there are, there are just some things. I will be, I'll be using some quite bad words up here because, um, you know, there's just no other way to say um, conservatives or capitalism really than just <laughs> than what they are. So uh, just prepare yourselves for that. My mum said to me uh, before I came over here, she said, do you think your songs are really going to translate to Australia? I said, I don't know, I, th I think they know a thing or two about having shit prime ministers as well, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, I'll kick you off with this one. This is a song that I wrote about Theresa May way back in 2010, long before the idea of her becoming Prime Minister was a distant nightmare. And uh, I wrote this song when she was made the Minister for Equalities. And as a gay person, I found that to be pretty insulting because Theresa May had used her uh, power and her career at every single opportunity to vote against the rights of people like me. And uh, I found that pretty insulting, so I wrote a song about it and it's called Farewell to Welfare. And, uh, and I've been playing it, I, I, I wrote it in 2010. And, uh, and it took me nine years, guys, but I got rid of Theresa May in the end, okay? So uh, um, what I'm saying is, I'm working on a song about Boris Johnson. 2029, buddy, I'm coming for you. Let's do it, guys. that response. Yeah, I've said, if you've seen this last, yesterday, you'll know that, um, I said this yesterday as well, but we, we used to do that one at the end, but we, we've started doing it at the beginning, because, uh, because we find that politically it really sorts the wheat from the chaff, you know? <laughs> if you didn't, if you didn't enjoy that, that is very much where the level is, is going to stay, so, uh, Get out now while you still can. <laughs> so it's lovely to be at a folk festival. Yeah. It's been sort of quite hotly disputed whether or not what I do is not or is not folk music in the UK. Um, and I, in an effort to try and ingratiate myself with the, the folk scene in the UK, I started a folk club in my hometown. I started a folk club in my home city of Leicester and uh, and you, you see, because in Britain, or in England particularly, there's a lot of emphasis on traditional music in, in folk music, and uh, 
I don't do anything traditional, so I was often sort of regarded as a bit of an imposter. So I started this folk club, and uh, and in an effort to sort of impress the local folkies, I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll learn a traditional song and uh, I'll, I'll sing it for them so they'll know that, you know, I've done my homework and I'm, I'm the real deal. So I got up there on the first night and I said very confidently, this is a traditional song. It's called Bees Wing. And uh, there was this voice rang out from the audience that just said, Bees Wing is not a traditional song. <laughs> It was written by Richard Thompson. And that voice belonged to my literal, actual girlfriend. <laughs> so, uh, who needs enemies, eh? Yeah, no, we broke up. Um, sort of, I'm very happy with you now, darling. <laughs> ben and I got matching tattoos on this door. Yeah. I know, I'm, 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 I'm getting straighter by the day, I think, yeah. Just gonna have to give in to it. And, proposed by the end of the tour, I think. This is not a traditional song, it's called Bees Wing. <laughs> I was 19 when I came to town, they called it the summer of love. Burning babies, burning flags, the hawks against the dove. Well, I took a job with the steamy, went down on Catherine Street, and I fell in love with the laundry girl that was working next to me. Brown hair zigzag around her face and a look of odd surprise. A fox caught in the headlights, there was animal in her eye. And she said to me, oh, can't you see that I'm not the factory kind? If you don't get me out of here, lose my mind. She was a rare thing. Fine as a bee's wing. So fine a breath of wind might blow her away. She was a lost child. She was running wild. She said so long as there's no price on love I'll stay. And you wouldn't want me any other way. We're a patriarchal structure. Come on. Yes. I mean, it's worth it, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I had a biscuit when I read that. Um, so what I like to do is I like to sing and the images that fucked you, and you're all gonna reply. We're a patriarchal structure, a bit like this. And the images that fucked you. We're a patriarchal structure. I really didn't think you were gonna do it. Thank you very much. Um, cool. So uh, this is called Black Tie, and I'll, I'll give you a bit of a, a bit of a nod when it's your turn to do that, and it goes like this. Start some wine. 